kusalimia anti yangu huko Matondore. Nikisafiri nikirudi nyumbani. Kapatana na rodi hapa Katondore. Kafunguka mlango ikanigonga mkono. Halafu kujipata ni njipata wa sibitari ni aembu. Madaktari wa kinitipu. Kuna skani itolewa hapa. Kaya kwa hapa. Itolewa hapa njoo ya kufula. Ili kichwa ipone. Kipone. Ii itolewa hapa irundiso hapa. Kifwa kinye senye sirireto wa sibitari simeni saindia sana. Juu singe singe kuwe ningepere kwa ngamba ningekuwa na shinda sana mimi ni mama Anthony ni mepiga simu nikaambiwa tu Anthony amegongwa na lodi nikaambiwa niende ni sign apere kwa vieta nikimaliza miezi tatu taenda nitolewa hapa nirudiwa hapa this gentleman with a severe head injury following a motor vehicle crash came when his glass coma scale was 6 or other he was in a coma and uh, I took him to the operating uh, theater and I noted that uh, he had a lot of uh, brain edema or what you call uh, in simple language uh, brain swelling and uh, therefore I, I had to remove a uh, part of his uh, skull bone and uh, preserve it under his uh, anterior abdominal wall or, and under his uh, uh, abdomen uh, for, for, for a couple of months uh, to enable uh, his brain uh, uh, relax. I also evacuated a clot from his uh, uh, brain and uh, currently he's uh, able to walk, he's talking and he's, uh, he's able to do his day-to-day -day activities uh, without any issues uh, and he's very happy uh, with us. Yeah, I learned this uh, from uh, my uh, teachers uh, in Aga Khan University Hospital and even in India where he's pursued a further training uh, in, in, in neurosurgery. This was basically, this was basically to keep the part of the skull uh, alive because there's a lot of uh, blood supply in the anterior uh, abdominal wall. We find this to be a better method of preserving the bone because the bone will be alive and uh, any time from six weeks and, and onwards I'll be able to put back the bone uh, on the head and uh, that is uh, the defect that is there will now be sealed off completely. Currently we are able to perform uh, surgeries on a day-to-day -day basis because of the, these facilities. As you can see, we have a very good lighting system. We have an aesthetic machines. You can see we, we, we basically have a, uh, a lot of uh, theater equipment that is enabling us to treat a lot of patients on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm happy to say that uh, this fa fa uh, new facility uh, has enabled us to uh, perform such uh, complex surgeries. And many more we are going uh, to perform, uh, which previously we would not have been able uh, to perform. I'm able to treat a lot of patients with uh, complex uh, brain uh, tumors, uh, head injuries, uh, vascular problems uh, both in the head and the spine, uh, spine injuries uh, and many other neurosurgical uh, conditions. The patient is coming back for review and finalizing of the operation. Part of the skull bone is um, kind of incubating in the abdomen. The reason for that is to keep it alive, to keep the blood flowing, uh, to soak it, so to say, in living tissues so that it will retry be just picked and returned where it was removed. Um, that's a high-tech um, surgery and procedure. Because of the um, enhanced um, equipment uh, staff, we are actually up to the task uh, and we want to reduce our referrals to as near zero as possible. We were able to carry out um, very major operations in terms of uh, historic operation for any facility outside the main towns in Kenya. We were able to do pacemaker insertion for our cardiac patients. Um, this was done in conjunction with the, a collaboration the county has with the colleagues from the US, uh, United States of America, University of Michigan, hospitals uh, in the US. They were able to come help, help us with the expertise and this was also made possible because the county through the MES program has acquired the state-of-the-art equipment which would not, which will, which would facilitate this procedure. Uh, without the equipment, we would not have been able to carry out these procedures. These are patients who will require specialized uh, treatment outside uh, the 
they've previously called district or provincial hospitals. These are the patients who are likely to be sent to Nairobi, to Nairobi Hospital, Aga Khan, uh, and uh, for the last two years, Kenyatta National Hospital. And even some, those who can afford, they end up traveling out of the country to India, to Europe, to the Americas to get uh, pacemakers inserted. So the acquisition of uh, the equipment which you can see uh, in front of us, uh, this is uh, the, our theater bed. Uh, we have the theater lights. We have an aesthetic equipment here. And very important, this equipment you are seeing here, we call it a C-arm. C-arm is a special form of x-ray which enables uh, um, a doctor to be able to operate on a patient and at the same time they can image and see inside the body. This, this equipment which was acquired through the MES program is what was core in helping us perform the uh, operations, that is pacemaker insertion. After the operation, I'm feeling all right. I don't feel tired as I was feeling before. Very grateful for the provision of the theater. It was quite adequate. And such things when we are not there, patients who are being referred to India, South Africa, and some to America, and it is a very expensive exercise or undertaking which the, we, the patient, we could not afford. The facilities which were offered here could only be found in outside the country. And if it is this country, it was only in one place and it was not affordable. We were very, very relieved when we were told that there were doctors that were coming to fit pacemakers uh, at the Kericho County Hospital. Of course, we were a little worried because uh, we all have this assumption that we don't have very good facilities in our government hospitals. But we were very pleasantly surprised when we came here and they have a state-of-the-art theater where they were able to actually fit the pacemaker. Nimeugua ugonjo wa roo kwa muda wa miaka saba. Sikuwa nimewai kupata matibabu ya ugonjo wa roo. Ilikuwa nime, kliniki yangu ilikuwa ninagudumia Eldoret kwa Dr. Kwanalo na nikaenda huko nikahudumiwa nikachukua karibu mwezi mbili lakini sikufaulu kwa kuhudumiwa akanieleza kuyakewa hiyo kitu naitwa pesimeka inagarimu nusu milioni niliporudi nyumbani niliwaza nikashindwa sikuwa na wesa kupata hizo pesa sa nusu milioni nije niweke hiyo pesimeka Mimi nilipata hii ugonjwa nimeumia kama kitu kama mwaka moja. Kwa siku ile nilikuja nikatibiwa hapa. Ilala hapa. Tukayashulika hapa nikaanza kutibiwa. Nikaangalala tu vile wanatakia baga nikaona kutoka hivi kuamuka. Ala mbona hii kitu iko tofauti. Basi nikaanza sasa kulala. Nilienda kulala hapo. Nilipewa nyumba ya kulala huko ya hospitali. Asubuhi mimi naamka ai mimi natembea kama mrani mimi na kanyaka chini alikuwa mimi na bebu anaenda choo kushikiliwa ati nitafute namna lakini saa hiyo mimi naambia hapana sasa mimi niko tayari kwa hivi tunaomba Mungu vile mmetusaidia katika hospitali hapa na mkubwa ambao alio itisha hii kitu tunamwambia Mungu nadhani Mungu amsaidie Na katika sasa bile tunaona hawa watu ni wambali Tujaribu hata upadi ya masahini pale Kilgoris Ambao naishi Muangalia huko pia Pengine itasaidia wengi Hawajasikia lakini tutataja Tutawambia sasa huko Kericho Muangalia kuna kitu ingine huko sasa inasaidia zizi kuliko Nairobi Before these equipments were brought here You couldn't do much in these county hospitals we now have the CT scans, MRIs, dialysis, which was a big burden initially. We used to only to send patients to only the referral hospital, which was Kenyatta Hospital. The other day, more teaching the referral hospital started it. But now we have all this being done at county referral hospitals, which is a big improvement, and I 
tend to think that patients are going to benefit a lot, especially with the issues of non-communicable diseases which are rising, especially in Africa and Kenya in particular.